Good morning, dear friends in Christ. Today we have gathered on this blessed occasion and today we are going to be online as due to various problems that has erupted in the entire world due to this coronavirus outbreak where many of us are not able to meet together as families, as friends. So this is going to be an online worship service and I request you all to prayerfully be with me with the entire church of the All Saints Cathedral. And today is the second Sunday before Easter, the Lent 5, the 29th of March 2020. So we'll pray that God bless each and every one of us as we are in our homes, as we worship the Lord, as we look to our screens and as we worship the Triune God. May God bless each and every one of us. Amen. Shall we all say Amen? Amen. amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we all sing that very common song? which is there in our books. What a friend we have in Jesus. Song number 64. Song number 64. Shall we look to God in prayer? The Almighty and Lord God, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us to come together, Lord, to praise you, to glorify you, and to listen to your precious words. 
I pray that Lord your care and presence would be upon me, that you would bless me and continue to fill me with your Holy Spirit, so that I would be able to speak all things in accordance to your holy will. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Indeed, we are all happy because the Lord is with us and the Lord wants to talk, talk with us. And the theme appointed for today is Thanksgiving that the Word of God took our human nature through Mary. Annunciation. It is a special status as God reveals his message through angel Gabriel to Virgin Mary who was to give birth to a son who would be named Jesus. Why did God had to take a human form in this world? That's a question that can arise in our hearts and minds. It was to redeem the people from Satan who had kept them under his bondage. In Isaiah chapter 7, 10 to 14, we read King Ahaz was hesitant to ask God. God finally spoke through Isaiah that a son would be born to a virgin whose name would be Emmanuel, which means God with us. And that's why St. Paul in Galatians chapter 4 verses 1 to 5 says that the status of a heir cannot be compared to a son because the son gets all the privileges and rights from his parents and even after their death he becomes the legal person to receive all the inheritance that his parents had in this world. That's why God sent forth his son who was born through a virgin Mary but not through Joseph and that's why he was called as a lamp without blemish or sin. God the Father had full trust and confidence on his son and he knew that he would be able to take the full task of redeeming the entire mankind from the slavery of sin. The Lord Jesus, who was born through the Virgin Mary, had a unique nature, as he was fully divine and fully human. He had the dualistic nature in himself. As regards to be like a human, he had to undergo the problems pains and difficulties of life. He was tried and tested in every possible way by the Satan, but he overcame all kinds of temptations in a victorious manner. Whether it was related to hunger, prestige or position. And at the end he told the devil that you shall worship only God and him only you shall serve. In St. Luke's Gospel from chapter 1 verse 26 to 38 we read that Jesus was born in Bethlehem but he grew up in Nazareth. But the people of Nazareth rejected him as the Messiah. As Mary was a young and poor female and people did not believe that she could be chosen by God to give birth to a person who would be the Messiah. But God chose because of her humility, faithfulness and obedience to his word. God's favor on Mary does not immediately bring her success or fame. The honor of being the mother of the Messiah would lead to much pain. Her peers could ridicule her. But through her son would come the world's only hope 
and that's why Mary has been praised by countless generations as a young girl who found favor with God. The submission was part of God's plan to bring about our salvation. If sorrow weighs you down and dims your hope, think of Mary and wait patiently for God to finish working out his plan for you. Jesus, a Greek form of the Hebrew name Joshua, was a common name meaning the Lord saves. Just as Joshua handled Israel into the promised land, recorded in Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 and 2, so Jesus would lead his people to eternal life. In Jesus' name, people were healed from satanic forces and their sins were forgiven. Centuries earlier, God had promised David that David's kingdom would last forever. 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 16. And this promise was fulfilled in the coming of Jesus, a direct descendant of David whose kingdom will never end. So we thank God Almighty who took a very appropriate and a precise person called Mary who was very much pleased by the favor God gave to her to become the mother of Jesus. We thank and praise God for a life and the contributions and the sacrifice she made to see that the son was kept protected from the kings and the enemies of the world. So the Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, became the greatest person in this world, whose life, work, death and resurrection has given a blessed hope to all those who believe in him can have the joy of eternal life as he has come to be the way the truth and the life and anyone who follows Jesus shall never walk in darkness but will have the true light and power of Jesus through his Holy Spirit so dear friends, Jesus says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe in me. Because Jesus says, in my Father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. So this Jesus wants to bless you and protect you from all dangers and pestilences. Whether it be swine flu or chicken gunia or corona or ebola or any kind of disease he wants you to be protected under his arms shall we all bow our heads in prayer that god blesses through his word and enable us to be his true agents in transforming the hearts and minds of all those people who continue to be his living light in this world. Let us pray. The Almighty and ever living God, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for the word that you gave to us. We thank you and praise you for your dear son, Jesus Christ, who came into this world 2020 years ago, who lived for the progress of humankind who came as a lamp without blemish so that he would be a true sacrifice and a true example for all those people who are there here in this world. Lord, we pray that your everlasting presence of the Holy Spirit would continue to rest and abide upon each and every person, Lord. Bless them all 
and protect them from all kinds of dangers and disasters. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. This is a song which we all can sing together as we are having these kind of diseases like Corona. Let us pray that as we sing together prayerfully, God would bless each and every one of us and give us all the healing and strength to all the people, those who are listening and as you all are prayerfully singing along with me. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Together, I am the Lord. That he led thee, I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. God's name is more powerful than all the diseases here in this world. There is hope that God will heal each one of us, whether it be cancer, whether it be heart disease, whether it be corona, whether it be Ebola, or the swine flu, or any kind of disease. As we pray in faith and sing this song together, God is going to bless us and heal us all. You are the God. That he led me, you are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Let's all together. You are the God. That he led me, you are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. I am the God that he I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord, your healer. Today we also have one more preacher, my assistant pastor, Ebenezer, who is going to preach to you all and he is also preaching from his home as he is not able to come due to the lockdown. So therefore I pray that God bless him and also God bless all you people who are going to hear the words through him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless. Let us look to God in prayer. Our gracious Lord, we are really thankful, Lord, for your presence and being with us throughout this day and night. Lord, especially we come together for this time through telecommunications. Lord, please be with us and guide us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today, as 
the theme is related to mocking crowd under the cross victimizing the victim from the gospel according to saint matthew chapter 27 verse 39 to 43 and it is joined with the epistle reading is taken from the book of romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 39 before going into what we have for this time i would like to explain one story of what can be related with this a woman went to the church wanting to be saved and the pastor quoted isaiah chapter 53 verse 6 and asked her to simply take god's word and depend on jesus for her salvation she went home rejoicing but the next morning she came downstairs with tears in her eyes to the same place with her little boy when she came before who had been with her at the church before and asked to that pastor says that what's the matter she said last night i felt like i was saved but now i don't feel like he said the pastors uh before before pastor say that even little small child say that mama get your bible and turn to isaiah chapter 53 verse 6 and she did it and the child was asking mama is that verse is still there then she said yes then the child same thing which has been told by child that if the verse is still there and you laid your sins on jesus last night then your sins are still there too then after she quite rest depending upon blaming on feelings and started depending upon god's word paul also went through lot many terrible events like beaten stoned sh- jailed and betrayed and persecuted but he still had total faith on god who was with him all things work together for good to those who love god as we see from romans chapter 8 verse 28 nothing should shake our confidence in christ's forgiveness as we deal now with the same thing to the gospel according to st matthew chapter 27 verse 39 to 43 let us turn to this passages this passage has been explained in one of our bishops college group and stated that uh, stated this uh, jesus crucifixion passages by one of our old student paul lawrence so i am going to explain about those with how we can relate to our, our own context jesus crucifixion was thoroughly planned and it is execu- executed in golgotha the team behind the crucifixion is still busy in creating public opinion luke also states that the people stood by watching but the religious leaders are scoffing with the intent to tell the public that he is suffering because of his own misdeeds point out that repeating it the public that he is that religious leaders they are scoffing with the intent to tell the public that he is suffering 
because of his own misdeeds. There are three accusations that made by people. First accusation is that he who said that he will rise the temple in three days and one who delivered others cannot deliver himself. A true Messiah and a king should be capable of violence, subjugation and victory as recorded in Psalm number 2 and verse 7. You are my son, you shall break them through with a rod of iron and dash them like a potter's vessel. But here is Jesus, after doing all good things for others, cannot assert his power. So he is not a messiah and a king. The second accusation is that they claim that he is not eligible to be God's son or beloved or even a person of faith. God delivers all who has faith. Since Jesus is not saved and still on the cross, he is a person without real faith. If only God saves him, they say that they will believe in him. In the same way, in our own context now, suffering is wrought upon people by careful planning of a few. For their vested selfish interest in sustaining power, wealth and comfort, just as the religious leaders planned Jesus' crucifixion. These people still create public opinion through the media that the people suffer because of their misdeeds. They are not blessed because they have not loved God. They are not successful because they do not have faith. They are suffering because God abandoned them as they do not have enough real faith. They are suffering because they are not smart, they are not educated, not hardworking, not true in their dealings and living in their lives and being drunkards. The victims are victimized. Jesus on the cross is in solidarity with these his people. The culprits think that creating public opinion and shifting the blame on the victims themselves will the final nail on the coffin. But it is not so. It is not. Jesus is the first fruit in resurrection, which will be the victory for all those who are made to suffer unnecessarily and bear the shame of accusations. Some people they quote that the, in the Old Testament chapter 24, uh, Isaiah chapter 24 and even 25, 26 by saying that it is all happening because of people's sin. It is not so because at the same time we can see from Isaiah chapter 53, 6 what we heard just now. He came to us because of our transgressions. He has sacrificed his own self because of our iniquities. We are not here to blame anyone. So let us be careful with those who create such public opinions of shifting blame, especially our religious and political leaders. Let us with faith and fearless hope struggle against such accusers in the way of the cross towards resurrection and fullness of life. Amen. Good morning, dear friends in Christ. We have some notifications to be made now. As per the notification from the city police, the Nagpur Diocese has notified to all the churches that there would be no cottage prayer meetings, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday worships 
from the 18th of March to the 31st of March 2020. So we will be all be in our houses and we will be having an online worship services which would be telecast to you from time to time. The VBS will be held from the 22nd of April to the 1st of May from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. onwards. At this time, we shall specially pray for all those who are celebrating the birthdays from the 29th of March 2020 to the 4th of April 2020. Mr. Sylvester Isaacs, Mr. Edric Johans Rajshekar, Ms. Akriti P. Jaswant, Mr. W. S. Wilson, Mrs. Tarulata Frederick, Mr. Paul George, Ms. Celestina Glory Swami, Mr. Moses D. M. Martin, Mr. Param Dhelva, Mrs. Bina Isaacs, Mrs. Prerna Sara Dongre, Master Arjun Daga Isaacs, Mr. Kamal Christopher Cyril, Mrs. Shweta Christopher Cyril, Mrs. Abba Michael, Mrs. Shweta Mal, and Mr. Sanjay Stephen V. Aquila. Let us bow our heads and we'll pray for all these people who are going to celebrate this birthday from the 29th of March to the 4th of April. The Almighty and our living God, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for the gift of life. We thank you and praise you, Lord, for being with them right from the day of their birth till to this day that you have taken care of them. Lord, we pray that you would also safeguard them in their new year, Lord, that you would safeguard them from all kinds of dangers, from all disasters, from all diseases, from all kinds of satanic influences, and keep them under your kind protection. Lord, we pray that your everlasting presence of the Holy Spirit would continue to bless them and guide them, Lord, in the days to come. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Shall we all join in singing song number 518 from the Golden Bells? 518. When upon life's billows you are tempest when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Are you ever burdened with a load of care? Does the cross seem heavy you are called to bear? Count your many blessings, every doubt will fly. And you will keep singing as the days go by. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. When you look at others with their lands and gold, think that Christ has promised you his wealth unto. 
Count your many blessings, wealth can never buy Your reward in heaven or your home on high Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your blessings, see what God has done Name them one by one And it will surprise you what the Lord has done So amid the conflict, whether great or small Do not be discouraged, God is over all Count your many blessings, angels will attend Help and comfort give you to your journey's end. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Let us all pray together in our intercession prayer. Let us join our prayer for the whole human family with the unceasing prayer of Christ the Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray for justice and peace in the whole world and for the fullness of life for everyone. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for all those who live in this place in the Nagpur city in the entire country of India we pray for all the countries for all that divides us from each other and Lord we pray that there would be true harmony love and peace between each other Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Lord, at this time we especially pray for all those people who are involved in the agriculture sector. We pray that, Lord, you would also grant them with a good weather, with good rains and good harvest, Lord, this season, so that people would be able to reap good fruits out of this earth, Lord. We pray for all the farmers for all those people who are working in that particular sector. We pray for all the industry, for the commerce, and for all the workers, skilled and unskilled. And we especially pray for the shutdown that has happened in the entire world, and also particularly in India. We pray that, Lord, you would enable and stabilize. And, Lord, we pray that you would bless and heal our land and heal all the countries of the world so that people would be able to resume to their work and that all the countries would be able to know that you're the savior who has a great love and concern for all the people in this world we also pray for all those who defend our country for the army the air force the police the border security forces as they are constantly working that no people may enter from any borders of our great Indian nation, Lord. We also pray for all the policemen, for all the commissioners, for the collectors, for all those people, Lord, those who have been assigned various duties during this lockdown period. We pray that, Lord, you would also safeguard them give them all the patience and strength and all the courage so that they would be able to work together Lord and that they would be able to have a peaceful and a good relationship with the society Lord we also pray that your care and presence would be upon all these people who are mobilizing the traffic so that this disease 
would not further spread, Lord, but that your mighty presence of the Holy Spirit would be among each and every person, Lord, so that they would be able to know that, Lord, it is you who has kept us here in this world and you love us, you care for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the teachers and students. Especially we pray, Lord, as all the students, those who could not go and write the examinations due to the lockdown, we pray that, Lord, you would also enable all these students to write their exams in the due course in the times to come, Lord, so that they would be able to continue with their studies. We especially pray for all our students who are writing their NEET exams, their other entrance exams. We pray that, Lord, you would also bless each and every child. Bless them and be with them, O God. We, at this time, Lord, pray for all those people who are assisting them, Lord. We pray for the parents who are taking pain and efforts to teach their children at home, Lord. Bless them and be with them, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are suffering, the poor and the hungry, the destitute, the unemployed, the oppressed. Especially we pray for all those poor people, Lord, the daily wage workers who are not able to find a job due to the lockdown that has happened in our country and as well as in the various countries of the world. We pray that, Lord, you would also provide them with all the basic necessities in life so that we as people also would be concerned about all those people who are having a tough time, Lord, during this time. We especially pray for all those who are sick. We especially pray for Mr. Param Bhelwa, for Mrs. Kurian, for Mr. E.C. Reghani, and for all others who are sick and suffering. We especially pray for all those people, Lord, those who are being affected with this coronavirus. We pray that, Lord, you would also bless all those doctors and nurses and all those health workers who continue to take 24 hours a day, Lord, as they are working on and on. Bless them, give them all the strength and courage and wisdom and knowledge and understanding so that they would be able to give the right kind of treatment at the appropriate time. So that, Lord, all the people may be healed who are there in the hospitals, who are there in the quarantine, who are there in various other places of the world. We pray for all the other countries also, especially those affected in Italy, in US, in Iran, in various other countries, Lord. Bless each and every one of them. Heal them, Lord, and give them all the strength and joy and happiness in their life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all to whom authorities are interested in this and other countries. We especially pray for all the presidents and prime ministers of various countries of this world. We also pray for our president. We pray for the prime minister. We pray for the governor and the chief minister of this state and for all the chief minister of various other states of this Indian nation. We pray for the, all the authorities, the collectors, the commissioners, and all the police forces, and all of them, Lord, those who are engaged. We also pray for the Muir Memorial Hospital and for the various hospitals which are doing uh, very good work, Lord, in taking care of all those people who are suffering with various kinds of diseases and especially with the coronavirus. Lord, we pray that you would bless each and every one of them. Give them all the strength and joy and happiness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for the unity of all Christian people. We pray for the National Council of Churches in India. We pray for 
all the other churches, Lord, as they continue to witness in your precious name, that your care and presence would be upon each and every one of them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the whole church in our country, for its councils and leaders, especially for our moderator, the Most Reverend Dr. P.C. Singh, and also for the moderator of the Church of South India, and for the Metropolitan of the Mathama Church, for Bishop Sharad Gaikwad, our Bishop, for all our presbyters, deacons, ordinance, and for all the evangelists who continue to spread your word, Lord, and also take care of all the people, those who have been entrusted to their care, Lord. Bless them and be with all the bishops and with all the pastors and with all the evangelists, Lord. Be with them, give them all the strength and joy and happiness in their life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that with all your people who have faithfully served you in this life, we also may share in the eternal joy of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We'll say together, hasten, Heavenly Father, the coming of your kingdom, and grant these petitions, which we offer in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. The Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for being with us throughout this time of our worshiping together, Lord. We pray that, Lord, you would also bless all the members, bless all those who are sharing your word, bless all those who continue to love and serve you, Lord, through the various capacities in which they are working here in this great country, India, and also elsewhere in the world. Lord, we pray that you would bless each and every one of them. Safeguard them from all kinds of dangers, from all disasters, and keep them under your kind protection. Lord, we pray that as they move about also for their emergency needs, be with them, O oh God. Safeguard them from all kinds of accidents, from all infections, and keep them under your kind protection. Lord, we ask all this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, Amen. We'll all sing the doxology together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord be with you all. In the name of Christ, Amen. God bless you all.